Hello my legends! Last week I got to go to Los Angeles and walk around the city, most of the time feeling alone and lost. I also got to check out the E3 conference though, and hang out at the Ubisoft lounge. There I had the chance to play numerous games that are on the way and record some gameplay of it, which I get to show you guys today. First off, we have Far Cry 4. The mission I got to play was to infiltrate a village. I could either go by stealth, helicopter, or guns blazing elephant mode. Naturally, after hearing I could still ride the elephant to glory, even if I choose stealth mode, I ended up going elephant mode. Now, it's been a while since I played with the controller, but I managed to complete the mission in the end. The guy who helped me with the game said that not many people actually managed to complete it, estimating that 4 out of 10 people complete it. Upon reflection, I think he was just trying to flatter me though, especially now that I've seen quite a lot of other YouTubers put up Far Cry 4 gameplay where they also complete it. <laughs> Next up, I got to play The Crew. Uh, now, The Crew is an open-world racing game uh, where you get to drive around the US together with uh, your friends or strangers, or you could go alone, I guess, as well. <laughs> uh, there are multiple types of missions and game types you can play in this, uh, actually including getting chased by the police. I ended up getting wanted once, but they never they never showed up. I was, uh, I was hoping they would, but not this time. Uh, I got the chance to play this mission called A Little Nudge, where I, together with three others, try to take down a car that's drifting away from us. Uh, not drifting, <laughs> that would be cool. No, driving away from us. I could be drifting as well. Uh, this was awesome. Uh, it's something I could see myself having a, lo having a lot of fun with. It was, there was a lot of adrenaline involved when you're, when you're chasing uh, this other car on, you know, on, on the beach. And, he's, and like, the sounds involved are amazing. It's got some great sound quality. Uh, going on so it was it was pretty intense I'd also like to point out that I won this both times I played it which sadly ended up being the highlight of my trip the other game mode we got to play was a regular racing mode um, it was just you know where you race through checkpoints to get to the final destination despite driving the completely wrong direction the first time I enjoyed this one as well though my favorite out of the two game modes I played was uh, definitely the first one now, I'm usually not a racing game kind of guy. Sure, I've played a couple of games um, as a kid and stuff and had a lot of fun with it, but over the years I kind of drifted away from it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised while uh, playing this game. The open world aspect of it is pretty cool, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, the audio effects of this game makes it feel super intense. Lastly, I got to try out Valiant Hearts The Great War. This is a puzzle adventure video game uh, where you go through World War I as four different types of characters that you play through. This is the one that they had a really sad trailer for where everyone kind of just went quiet instead of clapping. <laughs> it's definitely a nice change of pace from my usual games with many bits of history popping up uh, here and there. I think you'll learn a lot about the war um, if you choose to play this game because it was... Uh, it was pretty nice, it was pretty chill, and you know, you get these facts every now and then that you get to 
read about, you know, different parts of the war and how it was, uh, and uh, I actually enjoyed it. Those were the games I got the chance to record at E3. I didn't really check out that many other games. At most times, I actually prefer playing them for the first time at home, together with my friends. Uh, it usually ends up being a far more fun experience that way. All in all, I had quite a good experience. I ended up checking out Hollywood Boulevard one night, where I managed to score these two great, great pictures. That's about all I had to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little recap of everything I got to play. Uh, I don't usually make these kind of videos, but I thought I'd give it a shot. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, I move out today. Y yay. <laughs> so that's something. I'll, I'll, I'll probably come with a vlog or something about that. Maybe on the second channel. We'll see what happens. I'll see you later. Bye bye.